we all try and be predictive based on the current set of conditions in the world. And there are a number of conditions in the world that the switch could flip very quickly. And there's enough of those triggering events right now that um, the probability of any one or any set of them happening in the next couple of months is probably pretty high. Uh, you know, I kind of talked about it on the show a few weeks ago that it's like a bunch of tortoises sticking their head out of the shell. And, you know, there's a few that might pop out here. There's obviously a, a massive problem with getting gas to Western Europe for this winter. There's an emerging problem with food insecurity in Africa, South Asia, around the world. There uh, is obviously continuing escalating conflict in Eastern Europe. This NATO situation may or may not help. The Taiwan visit may or may not help. Is it escalating? Yeah. You, you well, think? I mean, I think, you know, Sweden and, and, and whatnot joining NATO is... Okay. Sure. Uh, is going to be viewed as provocatory. And, you know, it, it could not make things cooler and calmer over there, but make them more tense. I mean, we view it as a security issue, but it really is a conflict escalation issue. And, um, and then I think that there are emerging markets problems. You know, Argentina is facing 60% inflation. Brazil has a criminal as their president right now. And he has said publicly in the last couple of days that he will not leave office if he loses the election because the election is fraudulent. And if that happens, then you could see massive civil unrest. He's been encouraging the population in Brazil to go to the streets and fight back. And there are a number of these flashpoints. And by the way, that's a massive, uh, you know, uh, food supplier, as well as a massive uh, holding in EM credit portfolios around the world. Um, U.S. consumer credit is a problem. Uh, you know, we just had the largest number of new credit card accounts open since 2008 in Q2 from the New York Fed report yesterday. All of these things I'm painting as pictures of potential flashpoints for what would, could quickly become wildfires or brush fires that spread very quickly in markets and could escalate some of the considerations. So I don't feel like I look around and say, everything is good, we're in a good place. There are some indications that some of the stagflationary considerations and concerns we may have had and the way that markets are behaving right now gives us a pause, gives us a respite, makes us feel okay. But there are also a lot of things that could go wrong. And any one of those things could be a triggering point. So I always think in terms of probabilities, there's a whole bunch of low probability things. But when you have enough low probability things, the probability that something in the set is triggered becomes high. That's where I kind of say, look, the probability of something being a flashpoint for us this year is high. I also still think that globally, we are very primed for conflict right now. And we feel like and are hoping that the Russia-Ukraine thing resolves, but there are other points of escalation. Look at what's happening with Pelosi visiting Taiwan. Everyone that's, you know, even well-informed is scratching their head saying, what the heck is going on here? There is currently an indulgence in conflict. And I think that that indulgence will, um, you know, cause more harm than good, uh, particularly for these financial markets that we're commenting on right now uh, in the months ahead. So, um, look, I, you know, like I've always said, I'm not going to be one to time markets. It's like trying to time social behavior. Like, who's going to say some word first? I don't know the answer. In, in, a, in a population of people, you know, you, you can kind of guess how people are going to behave. But markets are the output, the manifestation of social behavior. And so timing markets is very difficult. I think you can do a good job analyzing businesses and the quality of businesses and how they will perform over time. I don't think that anyone over time can do a good job timing markets. And I think that there's a lot of these things that could really shift anyone's perspective on what you believe right now very rapidly in another direction based on any one of these uh, things happening.